Hello girls and boys. Welcome to Storytime Fun. We hope you enjoy it. Today's story is out of the Disney Princess book. Happily Ever After Stories. Tales of Love and Friendship. Today's story is a Disney Little Mermaid story called Ariel and the Seahorse Race. King Triton, ruler of all the oceans, stormed into the palace courtyard. Ariel! He bellowed, summoning his daughter. The young mermaid was nearby, riding her seahorse, Stormy. Uh-oh, Ariel said worriedly. He sounds angry. She turned Stormy around, and they went to the courtyard. King Triton glared at Ariel. How could you sign up for the annual seahorse race? He demanded. It's a dangerous competition for mermen. No mermaid has ever competed. Ariel raised her chin defiantly. Mermaids ride seahorses too, Daddy, she said. And Stormy may be small, but he is fast. I know we can win that race if you'll let us enter. Absolutely not, King Triton shouted. But Daddy, Ariel pleaded. No, Ariel, I forbid you to enter the race, he said sternly. Ariel and Stormy slowly made their way out of the courtyard. The mermaid knew her father would never change his mind. Ariel moped around the race course all week long. Her best friend, Flounder, tried to cheer her up. The race trophy isn't really that great, said Flounder. I know what would make you happy. Looking for snarf blasts and dingle hoppers. But for once, Ariel didn't want to look for human objects that had fallen into the sea. She only had one thing on her mind, and that was the race. It just isn't fair, she exclaimed. I know I could win. Yes, agreed Flounder. If only you were a merman. Then your father would let you enter the race. <gasps> That's it, cried Ariel. <gasps> I'll be a mer merman. Errol the Merman. Flounder, you're a genius. Ariel zipped around the palace, looking for a racing uniform and helmet. As she turned a corner, she swam straight into her father's advisor, Sebastian the Crab. Teenagers, Sebastian muttered, always in a hurry. Sorry, Ariel said. I guess I just had racing on my mind. You and your father both, the crab said as he adjusted his shell. He keeps going to the closet to look at his old racing uniform. You know he was your age when he entered his first competition. Ariel was surprised. King Triton had never told her that he used to race. <gasps> Thanks, Sebastian, cried Ariel. Now she knew where to find a racing uniform. <laughs> On the morning of the competition, Ariel went to the starting line with Stormy. She was disguised in her father's racing gear with her hair hidden under a helmet. No one had noticed her yet. King Triton raised his trident. A spark shot out of it, and the seahorses took off. The racers steered them through the water at breakneck speed. When they reached the coral reef, many of the fastest and most powerful seahorses could not fit through the small openings and had to swim around the coral reef. But Stormy was small, and Ariel was brave, so they swam through the reef. 
Before long, they had taken the lead. Ariel shouted with joy as her seahorse whipped around the next turn. But this time, he was too fast. Ariel's helmet hit the coral and popped off. Her long red hair streamed out behind her as they headed into a dark cavern. One white racer, Carpa, saw Ariel's red hair from behind. A mermaid, he cried in disbelief. He raced as quickly as he could, trying to overtake her. It was pitch black in the cavern, but Ariel and Stormy knew the way. They had been there many times before to search for treasure. Suddenly, Ariel and Stormy heard someone behind them. It was Carpa. He was closing in on them. Stormy swam out of the cavern at record speed. He headed for the last part of the race course, the seaweed hurdles. Ariel and Stormy swam over and under the seaweed hurdles. Now all of Atlantic could see them. The crowd gasped as the princess passed by with Carpra right next to her. <gasps> King Triton rose from the royal box. A look of utter surprise on his face. Come on, Stormy, Ariel urged with one last burst of speed. The seahorse raced across the finish line. He and Ariel won. Hooray! The crowd roared. Even Carpa clapped. The mermaid had beaten him fair and square. Ariel smiled and waved. Then she saw her father. I'm sorry, Daddy, she began. No, Ariel, I'm sorry, he interrupted. I had forgotten how much fun racing is. I was just worried about you. Can you ever forgive me? Ariel nodded and kissed his cheek. Then King Triton proudly handed his daughter the trophy. Everyone cheered, but the king was the most enthusiastic of all. <laughs> well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time.